Transformative Witchcraft by Jason Mankey. The Greater Mysteries. So, you are getting like more of a transformative, like, the Wicca point of view of some of the situations, but overall, like, for some, like, some of these points given, anybody from any, from pretty much any tradition can grasp, not grasp, but, like, if you're a beginner, yeah, um, use the information, understand the information, get a different perspective of the information being told, so in a way, it, the book can be useful no matter what the tradition you fall under. So you get five uh, parts. You get the introduction, appendix, you get two appendixes, appendices, <laughs> and under each part in the contents, you get what chapters are under each one. So the five categories are origins of witchcraft, the cone of power, dedications, initi initiations, and elevations, drawing down the moon, and the great right. So a lot of what I just said it for the parts can be more of that Wicca path, though some can be transferred over to different aspects of other traditions or if that's what like you call them as well you have that like section in part one it's more of a history you get more of like the wicca history garner influence and other like to me wicca influencers influence and it does go into like other traditions but like for me, it does have more of a Wicca point of view. In part two, like you're getting energy as a person, person circle slash ritual, chanting, toning, pulse, cone of power kind of um, information. So different aspects of like the energy part can be transferred over to different traditions throughout wi uh, witchcraft. Part three, you're getting a, like another info slash background slash history information. Like you got different types, stages, the three degrees. So in that part, like kind of thing, you are getting the Wicca like more traditional kind of you got degree one degree two and everything and like other traditions not just in paganism but in christianity and like judaism and islam you got some degrees kind of like similar i guess to that so it can be transferred over into like different variations uh, part four, you got information more on like deities, like some history, like ancient Greece and of the traditions. You got information on Crawley, Market Murray, Dion Fontaine info, virtual info, alternative, drawing down the moon, and other stuff. And like to me, I don't really do the drawing down, down of the moon and whatever so for me I could easily just skip this and a lot of it is more set up to be like ritual with like high priest or priestess so I'm like like for me there's nothing wrong with being working within the group but I'm like I kind of skip over those sections when those kind of rituals come up because I'm like right now I'm like I'm not going to be part of that like haven't been offered so you know 
Uh, part 5, again you get some more information and history, uh, cake, cake and ale information and recipe, great, right? You get some information about that as well and to some topics relating to that. Again, it's more of a Wicca slash system ritual side of witchcraft and like for me there's a slight more coven based to it like like I said the setup for like rituals and everything high priestess priest um a few other points I've like the degree systems and everything more coven based view Appendix 1 and 2 are the Charge of the Goddess and Charge of the God. And you're looking at 350, 360 pages, 350, 360 pages. Did not expect this long of the book review, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, you get are getting a look of how witchcraft kind of like transformed over the years. But you're also getting that um look at that section of witchcraft the wish thought of it for at the time of reading but wish I remembered now but the transformative witchcraft traditional I don't know if it would be part of the traditional Wicca section but tradition but it's there <laughs> um transformative witchcraft by Jason Mankey Happy readings.